Hi everyone, welcome to Explore and Traverse. My name is Mike, I'm your host. Uh, if you get any value out of this content, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. I love it, let's get started. So today we're gonna learn how to make the most basic, a basic of standard anchors. Um, some people call it the overhand knot anchor, some people call it the master point, I've heard ponytail before. Um, if you don't use an overhand, it's a figure eight anchor. Um, there's a lot of names. If you have a different name you call it, Hit it, hit it in the comment section. Um, I wanna hear it. So let's get started. I'm gonna take one end of my double length sling. This is a 120 centimeter of eight millimeter Dyneema sling. I'm gonna clip it into both sections, pull it down. Make sure that tab is out of the way. Get out of the way. So it's down here. I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna pinch a little section up there. I'm gonna wrap it over and then pull it through and down. And we have ourselves our anchor. Now, depending on where the climber is coming from, we can set that knot off to the left side or off to the right side. The good thing about this is it's also redundant. Uh, it's mostly equalized depending on where the climb is coming from. There's a shelf you can hook into. Uh, I did I say it's strong? It's really strong. Only downside really is it usually takes a little bit more material. Using this with a single length sling is not gonna be that easy to make. Um, and the other thing is this knot, if there's any weight on it, or even if there's not weight, sometimes it can be difficult to untie. Um, but this is the most widely used anchor because it is so strong, it is so easy to make, um, and it's pretty versatile as well. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Hit that like, hit that subscribe button like always. Uh, feel free to tune in next time and see what else you can get out of this. Thanks a lot, everybody.